There are little little things that matter if you really want to perform well in school that most Nigerian students are not aware of. Now, if you meet if an average Nigerian student and ask him or her, what are the secrets or what are the keys to doing well academically and performing well in school? You just hear things like make sure you write your test, do your assignments, perform and write exams, burn the midnight candle, and the rest. All those things, yes, they play a role, but there is one thing that most of us are not aware of that plays a huge role outside reading your books and burn the midnight candle and this is what i'm about to share with you today now this will you know work well for you if you adhere and apply what i'm about to share with you now let's talk about your course advisor if i may ask you how is your relationship with your course advisor i decided to record this after having a conversation with my junior brother this morning and i asked him how is his relationship with his course advisor and he told me something that his course advisor yeah they, they are in good terms but i asked him it's not about being in good terms how often do you speak with him how often do you know him how often does he know you that kind of thing that relationship plays a huge role in every student's academic performance let me tell you something. Your course advisor has an upper hand in helping you academically if you do not know and if you are not even aware of. But the main thing is not about the helping. It's all about the relationship that you build, you build with your course advisor. Most Nigerian students, they fail because they do not have a relationship with the man or the woman handling and recording all their CAs and their exams and you know accumulating them to make sure that everything is in place and submitting it to the exam officer let me tell you there are things that you avoid that you will avoid if you have a strong relationship with your course advisor if he knows you or she knows you and you know him and that, that okay let me cite an instance here i could remember there was a time i had a, an issue with a course normally the course advisor is supposed to you know send it across to the exam officer because this is the result that was sent to him he has no right to you know communicate or you know tamper with anything he called me out and told me maxwell and not just me and a few students you know that, are, that we are close to him i told us see you guys you guys have issues with this course you guys had f's in this course what's the problem and we were like how did we have f in this course so that gave us you know uh, um an information to just go to the lecturer and sort it out and we now realize that while, while meeting the lecturer we now notice that the lecturer did not you know impute our ca's some of them had wrong ca's and that helped us to rectify the issue and by the special grace of god i got an a in the course just imagine what relationship you know did for me now if i, I could remember there was also a guy that had a, a, a challenge with the course but the course advisor did not relate to him so when the results came out he just saw an f are, are you getting me so your relationship with your course advisor helps you some of us fail not because we we did not do well we did well but things happen we we, we have things we call human error and if a lecturer mistakenly imputes and uh, you know a wrong digit in your ca or in your exam who will you blame who will even pre-inform you that you have a challenge in your exam or in your ca if you have an upper hand with you know with your relationship with your course advisor all these things are the advantage now most of us are even afraid of having a relationship with our course advisor when i mean a relationship i mean networking with your course advisor now let me tell you one thing your course advisor might, might seem wicked might seem harsh and the rest let me tell you two things every man need Pay attention if you are a student that wants to do well academically and not just academically beyond academics every man wants to feel loved and every man wants to feel valued i tell you the truth in the line out my course and advice and i our relationship we are not this way from the onset ha we were once cat and dogs now ask me in my department there were there, were, there came a time when he wanted to you know fire me because of what i, I did in class i kind of embarrassed him in class I was feeling of Hasabi, that kind of thing, and it backfired. But when I understood this law of, you know, everyone, one, every man wants to feel loved and every man wants to feel valued. I learned it from two persons, John Maxwell, okay, three persons, John Maxwell, Dr. My Run of Blessed Memory, and AJS. And I believe you know AJS, but Apostle Joshua Selman. Every man wants to feel loved and every man wants to feel valued. Your court advisor, even if it's wicked, even if it's harsh, even if he's not doing the right thing, make sure that he feels love 
from you. Make sure that it feels valued from you. That way, you will start cultivating what we call, you know, okay, cultivating what we call relationship and depositing in, in in depositing into his emotional bank account he might not you know recognize this or he, he might not you know tell you that thank you and all those stuff but along the line in the long run you will see the effect of everything you are doing now how do you you know make people or make your colors rights feel loved or valued here is the key now I'm, I'm talking to students like me that do not have much cash to spend in a time like this where garlic is expensive eating Two square meals if you're a king and a boss. Let me know if you, you know, if you're eating three square meals. Wow, wow. Let me know in the comment section. Now, how do you, you know, cultivate this love and value relationship with your cousin? When I mean love, I mean, you know, make him feel loved and make him feel valued. One, every new month, try as much as you can to send him a happy new month message. It plays a role. Every new month. If it's just four naira per, per message, if I'm correct, every new month, even if, if you have his WhatsApp on, if you have his contact on WhatsApp, send him a WhatsApp, con a, a WhatsApp message just to, you know, appreciate him. If he's a, a father, Father's Day, appreciate him. Every festival day, appreciate him. Happy New Year, Happy New Month, Merry Christmas, all these wishes, it plays a role. It kind of makes him feel that there is someone in, in his department that he's, you know, guiding that values him. Because for you to send that message to him, it means you value him. Yeah. And uh, one more thing that, you know, we, you know, top your game is if you can be able to, once in a while, go visit him in his office and ask him how he's doing. Ask him how he's doing. Just try to relate with him on a, on a human surface level, not just as a course advisor kind of thing. Just ask him, so how is the lecture going and how is the, the lecturing job going and, you know, the rest of the story and the rest of all those, you know, conversation. Sometimes you can, you know, if you if you don't know what to say, you can just come and say, sir, I have a challenge with studying. Since he's your course advisor in quote, sir, I have a challenge in studying. How can I do this this way? What can I do in this regard? From there, you, you know, initiate in conversation. This, these things I, I am sharing with you now are the things I practiced and it helped me. I could remember that was the time I met this man. So look at, uh, I, I know the, I know some of the things, but I wanted to know more from there. I sat, uh, you know, I came to his, his, his office. Most students do not, you know, do this that I'm about to share with you, but it plays a huge role in the first time. They might, you know, chase you out, come back again. So I have a challenge and, and, I've been studying, you know, but it's, there are some courses that are, you know, not, not easy for me. So I would love to, you know, get an advice from you. What do you think I should do? I'm trying my best, but it seems like it's not pulling off. What do you think I should do? Now, if it's a current advisor that is wise or someone knowledgeable in that field, he will share some things with you. But that way you are creating a bond between you and your course advisor. Before you know it, whenever things come up in regards to your grades, he will reach out to you, see you, look at what is happening, or to your, your course custom, get me this guy, let, let me, you know, inform him of something like that. Because you've, you've made him feel value that you can trust him and confide in him with your information, with your limitations. You've invited him into your life, so you've made him feel valued, you know, that kind of thing. Now, if you want to up your game more, whenever you are seeing him, get him a bottle of water or malt. It's just once in a while, even if it's once a month. How much is a bottle of water? 300 naira. You know, to compare to the relationship you're about to build, the advantages you're you are going to get whenever you have a, an issue with the course. Not just the course. There are some little, little things. I could remember there was a time I defaulted. And the consequence of my default was that I, we, I was supposed to pay 5,000 naira for not signing my course form, that kind of thing. He told us before time that if you do not sign in a certain date, that you are going to pay a certain amount of money to make him sign. But because of how I had a relationship with him, I could remember I called him and said, look at what I'm facing. I'm not, I will not be able to, you know, sign my course form because I've not been able to pay my school fees then. So he said, no, Wahala, whenever you are ready, come. I came when the semester finished. And I could remember we were, you know, chatting and he was marking a script, marking the exam script and he just told me just, I should just, you know, just give him a few minutes that he will attend to me later. Joyfully and happily. I know some of, some of my friends that paid that 5,000 naira. Just look at how much can have I invested in a relationship. So all those things, you know, play a role. Even when you are compiling your transcripts, your relationship with your college advisor matters if you want to succeed academically. Not just academically, if you want to live a free life 
in school. This is just a thought I just you know felt like sharing with you this morning. And I believe it will help you if and only if you apply, you know, you apply the knowledge. Now I have a question for you. Please let me know in the comment section below. How is your relationship with your contact advisor? Please let's chat in the comment section below. Hope this blessed you. And if you are if if you have a strong relationship with your call advisor, please let us know in the comment section. And if you do not have a strong relationship with your call advisor and you want to know how, let us on let us also know in the comment section below. I believe I will have a you know a few tips that might help you. This is a new series brought to you by the Nigerian Student Podcast to enlighten you on why students fail courses. That is why we call it fail not. You are not in school to fail. You are in school to succeed. So this is why we have this series brought to you every Wednesday by the Nigerian Student Podcast. My name is Master Friday, still your student and your friend. I would love to hear from you in the comment section below. Until next time, take care of yourself and make sure 